Hi, my name is Barry Crumpton. Today I'm going to show you around our Porsche Cayenne. Then I'll take you for a drive in it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. Um, the first thing I should have done was cover the number plate up because you wouldn't believe this is a sub £20,000 car. With the private plate on, it looks like a £50,000 car. And it drives like one too, more importantly. It's a 3-litre TD Tiptonic S. All-wheel drive, 2013 on a 13 plate has done 90,683 miles. Fuel economy, urban, 33.6 miles per gallon, extra urban, 43.5 miles per gallon, and combined is 39.2 miles per gallon. Has a 0 to 60 time of 7.6 seconds, a top speed of 138 miles per hour, out of a 245 brake horsepower, 24 valve, six cylinder engine. Road tax, is uh, pretty reasonable at £305 for 12 months and £167.75 for... So you're tough. So looking at the front, in the centre there we've got kind of a, a radar affair which um, brakes the car automatically if you get too co close to the car in front. I'll show you the controls in, in there in, in a short while. We've got daytime running lights, front parking sensors, the good old coloured Porsche badge, Xenon headlamps, multi-spoke alloy wheels. Now, if you're looking at the photographs and the video, the only thing that lets this car down at the moment are the, are the wheels. Uh, there's a bit of corrosion on them. We're, well, this afternoon, we're taking it to our alloy wheel place and they're gonna be fully refurbed. Now, all the tires are good uh, as well, all round. A beautiful car, been well serviced, well looked after. Power folding door mirrors. We've got the chrome window surrounds. Got the plastic sill protectors and also the, the wheel arch surrounds, the rear tailgate, power open, power close tailgate, and it's, uh, it's still got the, the blue tape that came from the factory covering this chrome trim up in the back. Plenty of room in the back. Rear load cover, twin exhaust tips there, and rear parking sensors. Loads of room in the back here. Leather is like absolutely brand new. It's, um, it's a five seater, although I think the person who gets to sit in the middle uh, kind of gets a sh the short straw. Just, it's, it's lovely. Back seats are, are sculpted, so you've got more leg room. We've got the over mats on, which have obviously been on from new. It, it is, it's just, it's just lovely. As I, as I say, you wouldn't believe this is a sub 20,000 pound car. And uh, to be honest, um, I'd, I'd be half tempted to keep it. It's, it's a great car. Cup holders in the rear centre armrest. You've got the Isofix rear child seat uh, anchor points. Rear vents for the passenger there and a, a, a 12 volt power socket for charging your phone and so on. Also, nice little touches like that. I mean, that is a, a, an ashtray, which is uh, a bit outdated in cars these days coat hangers and so on coat hanger here and even you know most cars you you let go of the the, the grab handle and it whacks up against the ceiling that just kind of lifts up nicely we'll just take you for a ride in it which uh, to be honest i've been looking forward to Fantastic car. As you can see there, the key is shaped, well, after a fashion, like the Cayenne. Just uh, get buckled up, although I should have got the service book out first. So two owners, last one, lady owner, which is always a brilliant sign. Um, they're, they're never as hard worn as if it's been a guy steering wheel looks like brand new all the all the switch gear again all like uh, brand new not worn out it's done 90,690 miles now uh, 4th of the 9th 2014 
at 16665, that's the Porsche Centre Wilmslow. Where does it go to next? 17 to the 11th, 2014, at 20,089. Porsche Centre Wilmslow. And then we go 16 to the 8th, 2016, at 31,685 miles, AP Auto Care. 8th of the 2nd, 2017, 40,562. AP Auto Care, 19th of 4th, 2018, 49,681, AP Auto Care, 12th of 12th, 2019, 73012, AP Auto Care, 27th of 7th, 2020, AP Auto Care. So it's all serviced up to date, not being cleaned, just as it's come in. To say the only thing that let the car down, everything else is mint. Um, a couple of scratches on the on the the rear bumper, which I think Lance will mostly get to. Everything else is mint. The inside's mint, and it drives fantastic. Um, we've got height and reach adjustable steering wheel, and also let's just see if we can find it there. It's uh, <laughs> not that I've ever been in the cup bit of a Cessna Citation but this this reminds me of how I think one would look um, you're, you're kind of really enclosed it's a nice area all your controls here and gear selector first thing knock the stop start off um, one thing we already know about this car it, it has a lazy starter so we'll be putting a new one on now it's got stop start it's a six cylinder, three litre engine. Um, it's done 90,000 miles. So, normally, when you get a car that's done, say, nine, well, 90,000 miles, they've, they've not really been stopped and started much. You, you don't find people doing 90,000 miles in, in one mile increments. And yet, the, uh, the starter's um, lazy on this. And, and it, it's, it's just a stop start. It's a stupid invention, stupid idea. Short-term gain costs you a lot more in the, in the long run. Switch it off is my advice. And it, if it doesn't get you when, you when you're just about to pull out at a roundabout and it cuts the engine out and then you stop and before you know it, the car from the right's on you. If it don't get you then, uh, you're going to live to um, end up replacing ring gear and starter motor. So switch it off. Right, uh, let me see. Cleared for takeoff. We'll just let this car go by. A bit of left foot braking. Beautiful car. I drove it to the um, place where I take the photographs and, and video them. Uh, it's, it's quite a distance, it's a good few miles from the garage now and uh, the, the car is just lovely. Um, I, I said before it, it drives like a 50 grand car, well it drives like <laughs> it drives like one of these which is new so however much they are now, what are they 90 grand or so, I just don't know, I've, I've lost track. The fuel economy um, as people who watch this channel know, I, I really like Range Rovers. And uh, the fuel economy, it says urban 33 miles per gallon. Uh, so really speaking, that's the minimum you should get, 33. And it's, it's up to 40, was it 43 or yeah, something like that. I mean, to be fair, I'd be, I'd be extremely happy with 30 miles to the gallon out of a vehicle like this and it, it, obviously it should do more. Great turn of acceleration, superb engine. Great seating position. Um, all this, at first glance it, it's kind of, you're, you're overawed. It's, it, there's little switches everywhere. Hence the 
reference to a Cessna Citation, but when you start to cut it down, you, you've kind of got half as the drivers, those, those are the, the passenger side. So these are just kind of comfort controls. You've got the direction of the, the airflow here with those switches. That's your heated seat. That's your temperature there. And that's the fan. And you can actually, if you click that switch, you can have the fan on full blast over there and, and not over here and, and it's dual climate so you can be hot over there and uh, icy cold over here and it it is the air con it is icy cold too when I uh, when I set out it was um, well, about three hours ago and it was uh, there was condensation coming on the windscreen from the air con so you can see it's great presence on the road. You have it's automatic. You can knock it across like so and change gears, put it back in drive, or you can use the flappy paddles as Jeremy Clarkson calls them. Um, he hates them. He gets paid a lot more money than me. I love them. I think why take your hands off the steering wheel if you don't need to? is say you just change down by pulling it towards you, clicking it towards you. We'll just go, uh, we'll just follow. They might be going a different way. Sandy, Sangy, whatever. So, lovely clear display. And one thing I do like, it's, it's got cruise control, and it, but it's the, the little radar in the front keeps you at a safe distance. And it's over here, I'll try and remember to cut the thing in. But we're on that display now. And when I set it, I can move the display, the, the distance that it'll keep me by just clicking the cruise control here. Also here, if we if we just move that it's telling me the well let's move it that's your information display then what's on the audio gone too far that's navigation where you are and then you've actually got in the second uh, display in it's actually showing you a close-up of your sat nav telling you the speed you should be going the, the, the maximum speed and also whereabouts you are that's that I, I think is is really good because I suppose you can check all your instruments at the same time rather than glancing over here and then glancing over there for the sat nav just get on the motorway Give it a bit of gas here, change down, away we go, change up, and uh, out into the traffic. One thing I don't like about Porsches is the speedo. It goes from 0 to 25 to 50, and uh, it's very vague. You know, it's like hit and miss whether you're doing 30 or not. However, you have got the uh, speed display in the center here so that that uh, takes any guesswork out of your speed we're just doing 62 at the moment hopefully we'll just be able to get up I'm going to switch the cruise on so back in
cruises on there at uh, 63. Just increase it, get to 70. Oops, too fast. Seventy miles an hour. No, oh, well, unfortunately, there's too much traffic to uh, get that sorted out. If I if I move that to there and then I turn that down No oh, sadly we run out we run out of time That's also a sport switch, so if we click that, immediately the revs go up, makes the throttle a little bit more sensitive. Accelerates away more, but to be fair, I don't need that. That's your stop start, uh, stop start uh, motor ruiner. Just a lovely car. We've got uh, front and drum rest there with space in. It's also there's a USB socket in there and an auxiliary in. Got sat nav. Uh, just show you the map there. Just got to confirm. So that's the map. It's also Bluetooth hands free and Bluetooth audio streaming. If I just click source there. I'll click it again. Oh, that's not source actually. That, that's that source there, and not onto Bluetooth. And then. Ah. It's an extremely good sound system. And let's just just make sure the suspension's all right, which I'm pretty sure it is. But we'll just load each front wheel through these bends yeah absolutely spot on no complaints no vibrations we were looking on the last MOT and there was a an advisory on one tyre low tyre and the previous owners put four on. That uh, speaks volumes about them. No expense spared. And as I said before, if, if we weren't in the business of selling cars and we were collecting them, then, then this would be one for the collection. I'll show you how to set the sat nav when we get back to the garage, how to delete a mobile, how to pair a mobile, how to stream audio. But uh, the car will be going, we're, we're taking it to have the wheels done this afternoon. Uh, what are we today? The 16th. So wheels should be ready by probably Monday. And the uh, car will be all ready to go. It's a beautiful car. Let's just see what we've got up there. Up there we've got heated screens. Um, that's 
you want to see. That's for recirculating air. They're, they're very fond of these little ashtrays, Porsche. It's uh, neither use nor ornament, unless you could, unless your iPhone had fit in there. You, oh yeah, it could be. It could be an iPhone holder. I oh, better not touch that. I don't want to get in trouble. So here we go. Lovely. And uh, with road tax only being £305 a year, it's an absolute bargain. If this, you know, your second car, your family car, your weekend car, you just couldn't get anything better for the money. I was hoping to uh, demonstrate the, let's just turn that up. There we go, that's, um, Cruz is on, he's, he's just going too fast now, so just spoiling my demonstration, I don't want to be speeding. I'm going to try and take it up the dual carriageway. I just want to. If I click resume. There we go. Yeah, it's, it's slowing me down there. Slowing me right down. So we've got it set uh, at quite a distance. Let's just see if it comes, see what happens here. Nothing, because I've put my foot on the brake. Right, so the cruise, click on there, set like so, we just need to set the distance there and uh, we'll, we'll set the speed, it's turning off now, so we'll just get up to a decent speed if these lights change. <laughs> Dear me. When I, when I was trying to video these before, there, there was six driving instructors up the same road. And they all seemed to wait till I was videoing. All right, and then there's a, ooh, look at this. Big O here. Awesome car, terrible number plate. All right, so we'll push that away from us, set the speed, that's set at 50. It's showing you there that 
that. Let's just see. Now I'll try not to touch. Right, that's slowing me down now. I'm not touching the brake. It's slowing me right down. So it, uh, as he goes, I've, I've not got my foot on the accelerator or anything. It's now speeding up. So that, that's it. It, it. it keeps your distance from the, the car in front automatically. Okay, well, now I've actually demonstrated that. Let's let's just get a bit further. See, I'm overriding that. Let's increase the speed. So I'm increasing the speed there, but it's keeping me distance. So I'll knock the distance down. And as you can see now. It's moving me closer to the car in front. If I turn it up again, like so, it's slowing me down. There we go, slowing us down again. So we'll, we'll knock that off and uh, return to base now. Beautiful car. Fantastic value for money.